everybody welcome to my channel my name is Ivani Book Buddy thanks for tuning in please remember to subscribe like and comment because it's always the right thing to do this week I am back with a book review also by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and this is Purple Hibiscus ah uh, let's get into it so a little bit of commentary before I get into what the book is about my initial expectations was that um, I was going to enjoy this book, it was going to connect with me, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to tell you this, none of that happened. And it was quite disappointing for me. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, that, that's just that. I, I don't think I liked it as much as I, I was hoping to like it. So Purple Hibiscus is a book that was published in 2003 and this is actually her first first novel so this was a debut novel and ever since this novel she's obviously you know went on to do other things and produce other work which I think has connected to with me a lot more than this book and I think yeah she was trying to she was good the writing was good everything was good I just don't think she was strong enough at the time I can almost feel touches of a lot of that's not really her I can feel a lot of influences in this book uh, so, Purple Hibiscus uh, chronicles a family in Nigeria. Um, this is a wealthy family. The dad is, um, he owns factories and he also produces um, and he writes some, 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 some work in a publication. Uh, and he's a powerful man. He's got money. He's just, uh, he serves the community. He gives, he gives back. He's just, he's just that guy. He's a big man. He's a, he's a very big man now, eh? To the Oga, eh? Isa, eh? So, um, and they're very, very religious in 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 the society, but particularly in this family. So, what the book does is that it shows us what Nigeria is like, and uh, through this family, so all of their chronicles and how you know the decisions that they make sort of like imp are impacted by their society, their environment, their beliefs, particularly religion in this case. So, Kambili is the main character and the book speaks um, from Kambili's point of view and in her voice. So, Kambili in the beginning is very shy, very timid, very afraid, especially of her dad. Um, she's a very smart young lady. Um, but she often doesn't trust herself and always needs and seeks approval from her dad. Even when, in fact, she's very abused and oppressed uh, by her dad. And just her environment is very toxic. And she doesn't even know it, I think, in the beginning. And at the end, I think she realizes what, had ha what has happened to her. Her brother, Jaja, is a very mysterious character in the book. Uh, there's not much that is told or said about him. He just always just seems very nonchalant about everything. The mom is, oh my gosh, she low-key annoys me. <laughs> but um, she protects her husband, this very abusive guy and powerful man. And he always speaks for him. And she's she's also very battered. She's a battered woman, Shamey. Yeah, life is bad for her. But at the end, or towards the end, she retaliates and she she does the unthinkable. And which I think she redeems herself a lot. But the way that she does it is not necessarily justified. Or is it justified? Because at the end, um, this is a spoiler, but yeah, it's not that deep. She ends up killing her husband, the father of her kids. In the book, Purple High Biscuits, we see how the man with power, the, 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 the masculine man who is praised because he has money and he can do things, goes unchallenged by the very immediate people that know what he's doing. His kids, his sister, his, his father, his, her, his, his husband, I mean his wife, everybody around him does not challenge him. Because he has this authority and is, is very tyrannical in the way that he leads and he does things. And 
we see how things essentially just fall apart and uh, people are affected by his behavior and his lifestyle um there's a lot of um patriarchal ugh, overpowering the women and the society so i can almost see how the dad gets away with the, all the the nonsense that he does get away with she 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 triggers us to think of you know why people abusers get away with the things that they do because their people need things need people need to get things done and therefore who's gonna question him who's gonna question him if people are hungry and he feeds the people who's gonna question him there's a lot to talk about from this book and because there is it's very difficult for me to pick one one item and that is why i have sort of like outlined the story for you guys otherwise we would we would spend this whole book review talking about viva bocotos it would turn into a feminist manifesto <laughs> and i don't want to do that to you guys i hope that you will be encouraged to go read this book just as i was encouraged because a lot of people actually um said go read purple hibiscus read purple hibiscus and i'm glad i did even though i didn't like it that much um i'm glad i did it i will give this book a 2.5 star it was just half and half for me it was it was hot and cold so i'll give it a two and a half yeah guys that is just my two cents here people have discussed you know, I got my own. I got my own. I got my own. I got my own.